So in this video, we're gonna go through a tutorial on how to use GoPro's Quick app and how you can make some really sick edits with a GoPro camera. So GoPro Quick is kind of like one of my go-to apps for mobile editing on a smartphone. It's real simple to use, the workflow is really, really good. Whether you're beginner or advanced, you can get some really, really cool footage from it. And it's really simple to use. That's probably the main thing that I love about this app. Everything is really simple. The like importing process, the editing, the creativity that the app allows you to do, and then exporting it and uploading it to social media is all really straightforward. So first things first, we're gonna open up GoPro Quick app on our phone. And straight away, as soon as you open the app, you're met with a fairly straightforward like home screen if you like and the biggest thing on the page is the murals thing so this is where you can create like or you can almost like let gopro dictate what it wants to create out of the footage that's already stored on the app or on your phone and that's quite a cool point actually because people seem to think that the gopro quick app is only for like gopro videos but in fact you can actually use videos that you already have saved to the cloud or save to your phone. So you can essentially use GoPro Quick app for editing camera videos or anything really. So that's what I really do like about it. Um, if we click across the bottom here, obviously we go to media first and straight at the top of the page, we've got a really simple menu, app, cloud or phone, which is fairly self-explanatory. Some of the things you're gonna see in this video, I have actually subscribed to GoPro's uh, subscription so that's, that gives me access to more creative features when it comes to the editing process, as well as like accessory discounts and camera discounts and stuff like that. So it's, it's quite a handy thing to have. I think I pay maybe five or six UK pounds a month for it, which isn't really that much. But if you're looking to buy new things for your GoPro or you want unlimited cloud storage and a whole host of other benefits to go with your camera, then it's probably worth checking out. Then we have our studio option at the bottom. So this is like basic where you will edit your videos. And then the GoPro banner at the bottom is where you connect to your camera. So I'm gonna assume here that we have been out and shot footage on our GoPro and the next stage is to import it into the app so we can begin editing it. I actually have both my cameras here. So we've got my 360 camera and we've got my normal GoPro camera. I'm just gonna to connect to the Max for now. and I'm gonna show you how the, the workflow works. So. It's connects to the Max. We're gonna click View Media. It's gonna do its thing, it's gonna connect. And we're just gonna import the videos that we wanna use and click Join. Fingers crossed it does connect. Sometimes you do get some like funny glitches with the Wi-Fi and connection and stuff. Okay, cool. First thumbs up, we've connected. So let's just download one of these clips. We're gonna select the clips we want. And for this example, we're just gonna select like a clip and we're gonna click this blue button at the top right hand corner of the screen. Oh no, sorry, sorry. At the bottom, in the middle, download, there we go. And then you'll see that the media will begin to transfer from the GoPro to the phone. Might take a couple of minutes depending on how long, or how big the file size is, so usually pretty quick though. And then once it's saved to your phone, you can click view media at the top of your screen and you'll be brought to this page which shows your imported file. Now, because I don't want to edit a 360 video for this video, I will just click one of my older videos to give you an example. So we're gonna use this one. Let's say we wanna use some mountain bike footage and we wanna create like a real cool video to share on our social media platforms. One thing to know about GoPro's app, it's called Quick for a reason. So I interpret that as it's great for creating quick, short videos. So anything less than 30 seconds is great for. But if you wanna create longer form content for say YouTube and things like that, I probably would stick with something different. Maybe uh, Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere or Adobe Rush, something like that. Just cause it's way better. But for this, go for a quick 30 second clips, it's perfect. We are going to open this in the studio. So bottom corner, we've got this like snappy film thing. We're gonna clip that and it will then take us to the studio where we can begin our creative process. And you can see already, turn the volume down a little bit. GoPro has actually tried to put together an automatic video for me. So it's taken what it thinks is the best parts of the video 
stitch them together with a bit of music, put a watermark on the start and the finish, and that's it. And that's one thing a GoPro Quick is great for. If you don't have much experience with editing and you simply want to create edits really fast that are really, really snappy, really engaging, this is what this is great for. But you can also take your creativity to the next level with all the tools that you get access to. So I'm gonna show you how this workflow works because it is, there's different levels to it if you like. So as you can see here, we just have one clip for this example. Now, first of all, on the bottom, we've got all our different adjusting tabs. So we've got the timeline, we can choose a theme. So obviously GoPro gives us all these travel themes, glitch themes, urban, like you can see it changes and it looks pretty, you can make things really personalized depending on what you want to get out of your video. Got some real cool transitions in there, some real cool effects. We can then choose to add music on there. So I'm guessing this is copyright free music, so you can use it and you won't get penalized or anything like that. And it's got GoPro original clips. No licensing, no worries yet, it's popped up there on the screen. Loads to choose from there. And I think you can probably add your own music as well, or you can have, choose to have no music. So if you want a really quiet edit and you want to hear, in, in our case, the sound of the bike or just want silence, then you can do that. And we can also select the length as well. So GoPro is pretty good at determining like where you want to use your clip for and like what the optimal length of the clip should be. So here we've got, um, you know, we can slide this around, suggested is 18 seconds. We can slide down to Instagram, which it recommends around 10 seconds. I personally would go a little bit longer on Instagram, maybe between 15 and 20 seconds. That's like my go-to. And then on the right hand side of the screen, we've got format. So this is where we can choose all the different aspect ratios for how we want our finished product to look. So we've got 16 by nine, which is your, you know, typical YouTube long style form video, four by three, eight by seven, which is a new aspect ratio from GoPro, which is kind of like the best of both worlds. So you could shoot a video clip on your GoPro and then you could use that footage either for long form, 16 by nine footage or nine by 16 vertical content. So that's really cool. So we've got all those to play around with. Let's just say for instance, we wanna keep this at four by, uh, sorry, nine by 16 for our social media stuff, okay? And let's go back to the timeline and we'll go into our, let's get rid of the start of this. So I'm gonna remove this. This is where it came in, it said my edit. I'm not a big fan of that. So as you, as, you, as you can see now, we've clicked into one of our clips and we then met with all these different tabs how we can you know, adjust how it looks and how it feels. So we can trim the clip and we can actually adjust our clip. If we've got music, we can adjust it to the beat of the music. So when the transitions are, which I think is really cool because that adjustment to beats of music creates really good engagement and creates really good flow in videos. We can also add auto highlights as well. So if you know there's certain bits in a really long video clip that you want to use in the short video, you can just add a highlight and GoPro then will stitch those highlights into one compressed engaging video. We then frame, so we can change how we want it to look in the frame. We can fit it again. This is just changing the aspect ratio of the clip. We can then add a filter on top of it. So if you're not, too happy with how it looks straight out the camera. You can add some, you know, minor adjustments with likes and LUTs, so like basically presets of videos if you like. And there's all sorts in here, like there's all sorts of different categories, style, greenery, beach, winter, snow, desert, dirt, there's loads to choose from. And then you can also choose one that you're happy with and you can adjust the intensity of it with this little slider. So that's kind of cool because sometimes footage can come across like too, like overly edited, which kind of like just looks a bit fake and a bit horrible so in, my, in my opinion. So you can adjust that and you can just give it like a little bit of a touch in how you want it to feel. We can adjust the speed of the clip. So we can, I guess we can slow things down. We can speed things up. So we can have got one time speed and it twice as fast. And we can do a freeze frame. So there's all sorts of like editing capability on here. And it's really simple to use. Like if you notice, like it's really simple what to click. There's, the screen isn't like overly complicated. It's very simple. And then we can also adjust the volume of our clip. We can mix things. We can boost the sound depending on like where you were shooting. If there's wind noise, things like that. 
And we can click this blue plus here if we want to add more clips from our phone or our GoPro. So it's simple as selecting the media we want to use and it'll add it straight in there. And you can also add transitions between the two, so we'll get to that in a second. So we'll click done. And you'll see here, there we go, add as a text to a transition. So that's text, so we can my adventure. <laughs> Let's see what this does now. This is very, very amateur. Well, it might look quite cool, you know. You can see there it's I did that in there in the middle. I'm not a big fan of these watermarks, so I quite like to disable them. So once you're happy with your footage, it's time to think about exporting it. Okay, so you can spend as long as you want editing those clips in there. Like you can get really creative in there, it's really simple, and you can have a lot of fun with it. But once you're happy with your finished product and you've got like a 15 to 30 second clip you want to export, we're gonna click save, and it'll tell you it has been saved. And you'll see here, it then brings us to a screen which shows all our content or all our projects in one like easy to manage studio. And then what we want to do is we want to click this like up button here, this like arrow up, and we can save that to our photos and it'll save it pretty much instantly. Um, continue, there we go, it's just doing its thing. And there you have it, and then you can share it from there from your phone to social media. You can connect your social media to here. Uh, I prefer, personally prefer to go through an app and just upload it like manually, which is what I've always done. That's pretty much GoPro's quick app in a nutshell. It's very, very beginner friendly, and it's also got some cool advanced features as well. So whether you are like a, a creator full-time like myself, or you are just looking to create some fast edits as a beginner, this thing covers the whole spectrum and it's really simple to use. I'll put a link in the description below of this video if you want to check out GoPro subscription plan. Like, as I said, I am subscribed to it. I do recommend it. I'm not affiliated with GoPro or anything, but it's pretty cool if you want discounts off cameras and accessories and access to a bunch of other creative features in the app because if you don't have the subscription you can't get access to all the creative features when you're editing videos so that's quite a big thing and you get the unlimited crap cloud storage as well as some other cool features i hope this tutorial helped you out and if you have any questions about editing gopro videos or even editing in general or how to use editing phone apps like quick pop your questions below and i will try and get back to them